Greetings from the Essex Football Club Harold Hill's Muddy Fields. The rain is falling and the pitch is heavy, making the scene appear as romantic as a hurricane during a honeymoon. Normally, a pro-kit Essex Olympian Football League Division I team plays its home games here. From the 11th tier of the National League system, but this is not your average day. With their varied frames and open hearts, a group of pals, actors, and former Sunday League players with varying skill sets trudge out onto the wide field. They cluster in the middle of the pitch, teeth chattering and bodies trembling, anticipating the arrival of a very famous betting firm and a special guest. Our savior will soon arrive to dispel the darkness. White limousine, white boots, and white teeth displaying a well-known, endearing smile. Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima, that's who. One of the greatest number nines in football history, O Fenomeno to fans throughout the world, Ronaldo to us. It seems that no one told Ronaldo about the English weather when he was flown over to take part in the humorous sketch. I also have on white shoes, more trick me. As we gather to squelch across the wide area, he jokes, looks like we won't be hitting the town tonight. While we embrace, he says, you're freezing. We have to do this in Ibiza next time. Here in this most peculiar of football destinations, he's in full super charm mode. Ronaldo, who is now 47 years old, is unexpectedly residing in Harold Hill, which was established in 1947. I see no reason to believe that link was intended. By the time he takes off his full-length touchline coat in the style of Arsene Wenger, the Sunday league team's green and white stripe is down 4-0, to zero, no zip issues to report. When he played for AC Milan, Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Inter Milan, this man was a football player of the highest caliber. He was a man who walked with the gods. There were gasps around Paris as the official match team sheet for the 1998 World Cup final was distributed without him. Soon after, there were rumors of pressure from high-ranking officials or sponsors, and a new team sheet appeared. It was a debate that is still remembered as a pivotal point in an extraordinary career. This job is very different. We are waiting to see what kind of an influence he would have in this far-flung Essex outpost. Jude Bellingham possesses the technique, knowledge, and maturity that characterize Zidane's playing style, and Ronaldo thinks the England international has what it takes to follow in his footsteps. Jude Bellingham's style of playing is amazing. I adore watching him play for Real Madrid, where he scores goals in nearly every game. He consistently advances forward. I was searching for Bellingham as I watched a couple games at the Bernabeu Stadium. His quality took me by surprise. You can tell he wants to score goals all the time by the pace with which he enters the area. His quality makes me think a little bit of Zinedine Zidane. Ronaldo has been impressed by a number of players besides Bellingham. From one striker to another, he asserts that Kylian Mbappe is the best forward in world football at the moment and that, after joining Real Madrid, the French international will eventually win the Ballon d'Or. Everyone is thrilled about Kylian Mbappe joining Real Madrid but we have to wait till it's official before discussing it in detail. He is a fantastic athlete. He is going to be among the top players right now. I believe that joining Real Madrid is a very wise decision for him. If he signs with Real, I believe he will finally win the Ballon d'Or. I'm not sure if this is accurate, but his PSG position is a topic of conversation. He will undoubtedly have a team in Madrid to help him with every choice he takes. He will have a group of teammates who will cheer him on both on and off the field. They'll keep him safe. However, I believe he had a great experience at PSG. Naturally, PSG exerted significant effort to hold on to him. He was the PSG project's main attraction. We shall see, though, what transpires with Mbappe at Real Madrid. We will get to see a lot more of Mbappe in the upcoming years, that much is certain. Ronaldo has a long and outstanding list of individual achievements. He has received multiple accolades for his outstanding skill and services to the sport, including the FIFA World Player of the Year Award three times, the Ballon d'Or twice, and many more. What skill from those will we observe today? Starting with a Rabona executed with ease, he shows off his keepy uppy skills on the field while also serving as the afternoon's patty power setter. 
Naturally, though, nothing is entirely as it seems. This is obviously a whole different script. Ronaldo embraces the ridiculousness of the scenario and throws himself into the role with gusto as the cameras start to roll. To put it mildly, Ronaldo's performance was lackluster as opposed to exhibiting his customary brilliance. More like a 5 out of 10. He played the part to perfection, acting as though he was out of his element, finding it difficult to keep up with the game's tempo, and failing to have any real influence. His signature agility and grace were completely absent, his white boots being deeply embedded in the dirt. Here, there are no thrilling, gliding runs to behold. As the contest goes on, it's more and more obvious that Ronaldo's role is, for once, subdued. His passes are misdirected, his shoots miss the mark, and it appears that his fitness has abandoned him. At some point, he gets sidelined, subbed off, and hooked. This was never the case before. At one point, Ronaldo appears to be taking a call from his agent as everything else is happening around him. His teammates were hoping for a spectacular sub, but in the end, they lost 7-0. Ronaldo's getaway to his trailer during the halftime interval in the filming was anything but a typical intermission. While Ronaldo lounged in his opulent trailer, surrounded by luxury and comfort, the players gathered in the clubhouse to exchange stories and hand warmers. A completely stocked fridge with champagne and beers could be found in one corner. Arriving from central London were two bottles of Ronaldo's preferred red wine, Pintia 2016, which is imported from Spain. Nobu also delivered some wonderful sushi. Ronaldo talks on the future generation of football players and his experience at Real Madrid while perched on one of the leather sofas in his trailer and donning a pair of soft, plush slippers. Here, Ronaldo praises Erling Haaland, highlighting the young player's extraordinary abilities and potential before pointing out Real Madrid's goal of bringing in elite players from around the world. Real Madrid's philosophy is to field the greatest players available worldwide. Among the top players in the world is Haaland. Everyone is vying for Haaland. He is at this amazing club. He seems content there right now, I believe, because City is doing a fantastic job. However, we'll see. It would be great to see all those players at one club. In the event that Halan, Mbappe, and Bellingham all wind up at Real Madrid, it will make me think of the Galacticos. If all of them sign with Real Madrid, it will be an incredible event. Seeing Real Madrid play with every player in unison. This squad is going to be incredible and they will do amazing things. But I believe that managing all of those guys will be a huge challenge for Carlo Ancelotti. However, pairing up good players is simpler than pairing up bad players. The coach won't have too much trouble with it. Ronaldo continued by praising England's chances at the Euros, pointing to their talented roster and powerful starting lineup. I must admit, England has played incredibly well over the past five years. They had a little bit of bad luck in Qatar during the World Cup. The England squad has a great chance of winning the Euros, in my opinion. After our conversation, Ronaldo went back to the pitch to wrap up filming, but maybe the real charm of the day was the bond between Ronaldo and the others, rather than the meticulously planned gags or staged antics. After the session he made an appearance at the clubhouse, anyone up for a photo? With a smile. The players formed a neat line, gasped in shock, and fumbled for their phones. Ronaldo teased the supporters, saying, You were all too busy drinking beer. I thought you would never ask, amid the flashes and applause. Soon after, Ronaldo said goodbye to the British climate and sped out to Marbella's sun-drenched beaches on his way to Saudi Arabia to watch Anthony Joshua and get some much-needed warmth. It was impossible not to notice that the Spanish red wine had magically disappeared and that his borrowed white boots appeared to have found their way into his suitcase. <laughs>